Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm IT Explosive One. Uh, uh, jingle bells, jingle bells. It's Christmas Day. Hello We're doing this live way. right now. This is definitely not recorded before Christmas. Yeah, we work on holidays here at the Crazy Town yeah. Compound. So yeah, ooh. double time and a half. Yeah. How do you do it? Hey, Jonas, what's your favorite Christmas tradition? Ha <laughs> ha, eating steak. Eating steak. <laughs> That's, wow, every Christmas. Yeah, so. Uh, Mine is crying in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was I'm my glad second. you found that funny. <laughs> it is funny. I'm glad you found it funny twice. <laughs> and Great a third time, time apparently. Because, <laughs> you know, there's nothing better than a Christmas cry. You're not wrong. You know? You're not a Christmas cry. <laughs> Get all That's tuckered out from Christmas, cry in the go. shower. Um, No, but uh, yeah, I don't do a lot on Christmas. Uh, if you're not, obviously, if you're listening to this today, you're not doing a lot on Christmas either, but you know what? You're with us. Yeah, exactly. You're here with us. Welcome. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard to the thing. One thing I will tell you, if you've never found it and don't want to miss out, (laughs) listen to Chance the Rapper and Jeremiah's Christmas CD. Okay. So uh, yeah, you got to put a little backstory on that. I mean, it's good though. So it's, it's been, uh, I don't know how, uh, you know, non-heterosexual this makes me sound, but me and Jonas have a Christmas tradition where we listen to the Chance the Rapper Christmas album, all right? And I am here to stand right now in front of everybody, the world, and tell you that it is a good album! Wow. It is a damn good album! Is it like this interview, that interview? I'm gonna tell you right now, if you want a Christmas song that's going to appeal to adults as well as something that you can listen to in front of your parents that will not drive them crazy but that you feel like could be a bop down with that down with that chance to rapper Cripper with jeremiah it's not even on the one that's on spotify you only need to find that one song it's just a good christmas song it's a good it's transcendent jonas of what of christmas yeah i only listened to that album from Black Friday, yeah, basically. until Christmas Day. Yep, yep, yep. yep That's yep. it. But it's been like I don't know a few years in a row now. Yeah. It's good. It's a good album. It's a good. It's a good seasonal album. You can't play it all the time though. It does have some some that I would like to hear year round. But. I mean, but by the time you get back, it's a banger. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, we treat it like people should t- treat their Christmas tree. We tear it down, you know, the next day. Yeah, like it's I don't over. put up a Christmas tree, but I just listen to an album. That's almost the same thing. Yeah. Right? Pretty much. Like, it's weird if a person keeps a Christmas tree up, like, you know, like, till, like, what, March, Uh, February? There's people that I know that talk about putting them up, like, right after uh, Halloween. Oh, I thought you were going to say a year-rounder. Oh, a year-rounder? Oh, those people. You know those people. I'll put up a year-rounder. Nobody's, no, we're not going to be a year-rounder Christmas tree. (laughs) I'll go right after. Just a freaking lit-up Christmas tree with multicolored lights all year round yeah like after christmas i'll go get the i'll go get the sale right because everything goes on sale after christmas like halloween and then and then like i'll put it up and i'll put some presents under it like just (laughs) there won't be real presents presents. (laughs) there'll be boxes wrapped up like presents you know so it's just like even worse it's a show tree it's it's when people come over they're like oh my god you love christmas and i'm like yeah disgusting this is the grossest thing we've ever talked about on this yeah it's it's really bad it's gross i uh I don't can't even remember the last time I decorated for Christmas. No, I'm not. I'm not about decorating for Christmas myself. Um, but I do. I do enjoy the idea of uh, a year rounder who puts like uh, d- decorates their tree for different holidays. Oh wait, like they the keep Fourth the tree of July. up and they redo it. They have a four a four yeah. July tree. Yeah, you get like an Easter tree, a Fourth of July tree. When it's somebody's birthday, you use the tree. It's a year rounder. Have you done that? No, but I've known people. Do people do that? I look. I'm not gonna say is that you're, you're gonna meet these people all the time, but there Easter are. Tree? They exist. They what exist. do they put on the Fourth of July tree? Like a picture of like. I don't know the Blue like Angels, the founding fathers. 
<laughs> the blue angels. <laughs> they have like little blue angel <laughs> ornaments on the tree. That's actually kind of baller, you have to admit. <laughs> like okay. nobody hates the blue angels. All right. I don't What kind of monster watched... would you be to hate on the blue angels? Do they they do tricks, right? The Blue Angels? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blue Angels, I, I don't know if everybody's aware. Blue Angels is like a, a uh, what do you call it? A platoon? A, a flight squad? Um, they like do flights and like high speed jets, but they do like tricks and stuff. It's like the super, super day. It's like super jets. What, what, who does like the tricks evil for cars? Evil? It's like the Harlem Globetrotters, but in jets. Gotcha. But they're not fighting anybody. <laughs> they're fighting against gravity. Oh, okay. <laughs> because the shit that they do is insane. Yeah. Do you ever watch Christmas movies? Not, you know what, man? Like, no. Like, I guess I do know, like, the one Friday movie is a Christmas movie. Technically. Yeah, see, nobody, everyone always laughs at me when I bring that one up. Yeah, because it's definitely a Christmas movie. Um, The second one. I, I also, one also, one. I also don't like that movie. It's the third one. It's the third one? There's Friday, Friday, or Friday, next Friday, Friday after next. Friday yeah. after next is a Christmas one. Yeah, they got progressively worse as they went along. That third one is my favorite. Yeah, I know. It, it would be. It's the most ridiculous ridiculous one it really is the most ridiculous it fits one. right into that whole like uh 1900s type of movie though like or like early 2000s i guess maybe type of movie barbecue so good make you want to slap your mama that whole like half baked uh encino man type In of <laughs> those are two very different movies i mean but you know you could see the half baked old school yeah, wedding crash sort of the freaking uh hangover type of movie just this crazy ish happening in the movies. I don't know if they make movies like that anymore. I feel like since the world shut down, the whole movie industry has been like so Marvel pilled for the last like fifteen years. Oh my years. god, dude! No one's making any fun movies anymore. Yeah, so just like no Christmas movie. Are there any Christmas movies this year? Is there? I know there's like a Christmas horror movie. There's got to be. I think uh, Terrifier's doing a Christmas horror movie. I don't know if it's. No, I don't think it's coming out now. Yeah, I don't know. It was Christmas themed when I saw the uh, the uh, trailer for it. Was so it? I think, yeah, I it's not out. I mean, maybe it's coming out. I don't know. No, I think they came out with an Aquaman or something for Christmas. Oh, it's Aquaman coming out. That's my Christmas movie. Wonka. Oh, yeah. no, yeah. Are we seeing that? Wonka? I haven't been to a movie in, I haven't been to a movie in a I movie. wanted to see Wonka until I saw a trailer, and then I was like, oh. Is it that bad? Man, watch a trailer. Is I'm the Wonka you. trailer bad? I'll bring it up, baby. Don't don't bring it up. Don't get us copyrighted well, on Christmas. Just, watch like two seconds. <laughs> just just took it. So you put Wanka, by the way. <laughs> they know what that's I a, meant. That's a different thing altogether. Okay, well, let's see. What is the look Wonka? up? Look up Hugh Grant. This is the Wonka official trailer. I'm just gonna watch like two seconds. Oh, this looks like ass. <laughs> 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 okay. I don't want to hit copyright ID, man. Yeah, man, we would quick. It's a Wonka. Watch, it's, it's going to get it, too. I saw 52 mad. seconds of it. That's all you need. To um, I'll, I'll, My favorite I'll, holiday I'll, movie is Die Hard, and I see, will die on that hill. And that was the other one I was going to bring up when I said Friday. I die love Hard. That Christmas movie. Yeah. As far as I can tell, those are the only two Christmas movies that, uh, that even, like, pique my fancy. Bad Santa's pretty good. I've never seen Bad Santa with Billy Bob Thornton, where he does. It's it's I'm familiar with it. It's pretty good. It's got like the uh, the black little person in it. He plays <laughs> an elf. Yeah, Bernie Mac's in it. Bernie Mac. Whoa. Yeah, that Bernie Mac. That movie's too. old, brother. The 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 hot, the hot Gilmore Girl. Mm -hmm. It's funny how like uh, the Christmas movie idea is kind of falling out of vogue, man. Because you you don't see like. Like in the '80s, you had like the National Lampoon. They were guaranteed you were guaranteed to get a Jack Nicholson and a, 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 a what's his name, Dan Aykroyd movie. You were guaranteed to get one of those in the Christmas. Scrooge, or bring them out, or right? Freaking Ghostbusters was a goddamn Christmas movie. Was it? Yeah, the original Ghostbusters was a Christmas movie. Was it? I don't yeah, think so. uh, there was Christmas parties in that bitch. Was See, it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The original Gremlins, Gremlins was Christmas. Chris, Gremlins, was, dude, we're talking about blockbuster movies. Been back in the '80s, that was a normal thing to do. I just don't see it happening as much as I used to. I think Aquaman's to. gonna wear a hat in his movie. Uh, it, it, but it's not. It, it, it'll be an Aquaman movie, but I doubt the like the whole Christmas theme will even be like. It's not gonna be like Christmas themed. 
They're not going to be sitting behind like a, a patch of seaweed at the bottom of Atlantis, like decorating it with like seashells and shit. <laughs> Eating a seaweed tree. <laughs> leaving, leaving Santa a shrimp plate. <laughs> They use their shower tears from their Christmas cry to, to, to cook up them shrimp. How do you cry underwater, Jonas? How do you do that? Ask Aquaman. Then just mix in. You know what? I heard something about women tears have a, a chemical in them that calms male aggression. Really? Maybe this is the wrong time to bring this up in the podcast, seeing so we're out <laughs> of time. That's interesting. I mean, <laughs> we're at the end of the episode, so what a perfect time. Well, I just Mary- thought that was interesting. Effing Christmas, everybody. Fair enough. And uh, make a woman cry. Calm yourself. Wow, Jesus. It'll help. I'm telling you. Go to thecrazytown.com uh, for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah. 